I got two very important questions. Number one, do you like humble people or arrogant people? And two, do you ever let pride get in the way of doing the right thing? Humility. Hello world, my name is Artemis and this is a space for anybody looking to reinvent their life. If you're new here, there's a couple of buttons down below this video. You can subscribe, you can click that bell notification. It'll make everybody very happy. Humility. This is Mount Gilboa. How about this view? Check out the sunrise. Doesn't this make you want to subscribe to this channel? I just love this place. I came up here for the first time today. I didn't even know about these, these things here. They just add to the whole landscape. So cool. I just love being up here. This is a great way to recharge. Humility, humility, humility. Definitely something really cool about being in the midst of something this big. Standing next to these behemoths here and looking out into the the wonders of God's creation and understanding how little you are compared to everything else. There are so many situations in life where we think of ourselves as, as so important and so big and standing here on top of this mountain you start understanding that you're not that big and your problems aren't all that important and that's the beginning of humility. Little do we realize, but humility is a big problem for us. We don't want to feel humble. We want to feel big and important. There are some ways that you can check yourself and jumpstart your humility. And that's by doing something like this or anything else that will get you in a position where you realize that you're not that great at everything. Trying new things, looking at new ways of doing old things. If you think about it, that's actually a big reason why people don't try new things. If it ain't broken, why fix it, right? Wrong. That's how you learn. That's how you figure out that you're not that great. Peter McKinnon on his blog the other day was talking about this and I thought it was really interesting. He was talking about buying a sewing machine just so that he can do something that's not related to what he does every day. And I think that's a great point. That is exactly what uh, will get you into a situation where you get, you start having to learn new things and you start having to realize that you're not great at everything. And that is humbling. Humility is the antidote for so many of our problems, starting with road rage and going all the way to divorce and so many other social ills. You know what else is a good humility exercise? Calling people. Calling people on purpose. Calling friends, calling people that you haven't spoken to, calling mom. It's all about getting out of your own head for a while and putting yourself into somebody else's position and worrying about their well-being for a change. 